Good fucking morning, Ibiza. Good fucking morning, ladies. Are we all doing today? This was beautiful of uh, Fridays. Yes, Friday mornings. Gucci, Gucci, Tom Gucci. Don't answer that. Incoming call from Zulu Alien. Ah, Zulu Alien. That doesn't sound good. I can only come to Uranus. I'm sorry. Not enough fuel, he said, hoping that Uranus was closer than Jupiter. Uh, it was a 50-50. <laughs> it was a 50-50. It's unlucky. Never do I ever win a 50-50. Depends on where I'm going. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Oh my god, oh my lordy lord, it's a fire. Didn't grip, no shoes or nothing. Anything cool, fresh, new, exciting happening in the world today? And Biden lost the debate, kick a heart, Trump was likely winning the election. Uh, Okay, I mean, I'm not surprised. Unless he's in jail, right? Dr. Disrespect got kicked out of YouTube. Wait, really? He got banned? Now what? Now what? Huh? Now what? Oh, demonetized. Oh, lordy lord. Lordy Lord, man. Now what, indeed? His subs got disabled. Probably no uh, ads either. I don't know if they run ads on YouTube. Most likely they do, because it's YouTube, right? Uh... Yeah, I Day mean... Force. Uh... I've seen on the dit that you are unbending weeps. I talk there where no unbends. I suppose the rules don't apply to your fellow weeps. Also, please watch my funny video. You've seen on the dit? I don't know what that means, man. I actually have no clue. I haven't unbanned a single person in my entire life. Right. Shut the fuck up, man. On Reddit. Bro, I don't know what the fucking Reddit is, man. Fuck off. Fuck off with your normie shit, okay? Uh... <sighs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh... Uh, we got some subs, we got some re-subbies, Monopoly, thank you, Joe Callow, FG Inferno, and, uh, Gersey BD, what the luck, XJNA, thanks for the subs, ladies, and, of course, a few gentlemen's, probably, Copeson, amongst them, uh, let's check out some motherfucking, uh, links, why is it so hot today, chat? Why is it so fucking hot? It's like, uh... Ugh, like, ugh. Sweaty, sweaty heat. Humid shit, you know what I mean? You're going bald. Not yet, but hopefully soon. 
then we will have settled the debate once and for all. They lost, LMAO. We lost. I lost just now. Shit. They did lose, but that was a very long time ago. I'm sure there was a lesson to be learned there somewhere. I'm just not sure what. What I want to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2% in taxes. If they just paid 24%, or 25%, either one of those numbers, they'd raise $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, uh. dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if... Ah, we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. Oh, my God. That's so cringe, dude. What the fuck? Uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. Oh, my God, dude. He's old. Yeah, I mean, he is old. There should be a max age limit for presidents. Like, it, there really should be, right? 
I mean, what the fuck is that? All politicians are old? Yeah, but not ancient, right? I get it. It takes a long time to go from starting politics to, to being the president of US of A, right? But I mean, come on. Literally dementia. Like, unironically dementia. That can't be right. Who would vote for this again? On the archive. So I talked about Blue Archive on the main channel today, but I wanted to add this additional story that I just discovered. So it was reported here that apparently someone called the police during a South Korean Blue Archive event. And of course, as this user points out, the police would come, realize this was all about anime, and then they turn around and left. But here it is, this person saying, South Korea is not a real place. And here's a quote saying, Korea has no future with some Blue Archive art from this convention in the background. And here is the story time from this user saying, I actually visited that booth at that Dojin event. Porn is allowed under strict rules, but I have no idea what the rules are. So yeah, there are some legal porn. This event, Illustar Fest, was a Dojin market slash other events that happened this year, 70% blue archive. This adult section was pre-approved by the authorities like barely. I have no idea how the organizers managed to do it. It was full of some Blue Archive doujins, which triggered some people. No one knew who called the cops on the event, but yeah, some people called the cops for CP allegations. A dozen cops came and inspected the booths and doujins, which was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen, looking at Kyoko and Hoshino stuffs, but the cops determined that it was okay and left. I was taking photos with cosplayers, so I couldn't see the real action, but yeah, very spicy. I think there's nothing more hilarious than showing up to an event that clearly is catering to Blue Archive and then being offended by doujins and lewd art based on those characters. I don't think he showed up the to the event. Who just waste their time and resources. Like, the imagine cops. that scene, looking around and seeing law enforcement flipping through I'm sure just lewd the cops. doujins of Blue Archive characters. What a sight that had to be, but yeah. You know what, no matter where you go in the world, there's always going to be antis and people acting crazy over fictional content. And this is just another wacky example of that phenomenon. Alright.
Uh, but so far, so good. I'm enjoying myself. Earlier today, the stream, the stream seemed to like it. Although, whenever I play a new game like this, you get a bunch of troll element idiots who come in here and literally everything's wrong. Oh, he's using this build. I don't like that. Oh, he didn't respec yet. I don't like that. Oh, he's doing this. I don't like it. It doesn't matter what I did. They would they would still say they don't like it because that's how they are. They're just very toxic people. So I tried to ignore them as much as I could, and I enjoyed the DLC. I'm not using a guide. I, I'm some idiot. Stop using a guide. Just get banned. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with that shit anymore. Anyone who's, who's a moron saying I'm using a guide is just going to get banned. I am not. I never. I don't use guides. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let's do it. Let's see what it says. I'm probably getting my butt. Only a guide oh, user would accuse someone of using a guide. Uh, is it the lion boss that we saw? Googling anything like related to Elden Ring is using a guide, by the way. In the promotional materials. Like you're not a guide user. Who's to be like a Chinese dragon or lion? From higher sphere delivered. Take root inside the tower sculpted keepers. Have Never mind, maybe not. Within, no. We beg of thee, rise. This is the head that we just saw in the room, in the storeroom. I told you that head was going to have significance. It's the head of the boss. Dance. You read chat yeah, for advice. Be dancing line thing. You think chat is a guide? Are you retarded? It's literally negative advice. Is this fist weapon good? Yeah, it's very good for us. Upgraded to level 19. Damage for fucking ants. Shit. Shut the fuck up. Okay. It looks large, so it'll be interesting to try to dodge, I guess. Find these dancing lion. I told you it was a lion. I called that it was a lion. But it's a corrupted lion with horns coming out of it. Oh, that's annoying. That missed. Imagine having plus 11 Estus. Oh, shit. Wow, this is a little full arena. Yeah! You can go the entire distance of the arena. The entire distance? So I don't know if I can use magic on it at all. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that it's going to be... Uh, well, on fight, as soon as it fights, it starts doing that projectile shit. If I can get out of its way... I wonder if it staggers, because again, nothing has staggered yet in this DLC. So I don't know if Rock Sling would even be effective against it. Try it again. use it this time. See, you didn't use the projectile this time? Oh, I tried to roll. Look at the camera. The camera's terrible in this. Oh, wow, the camera's awful. He's not wrong. He is not I wrong. I couldn't tell what was going on. The camera was fucking wigging out. I, it, that was really bad. I might just have to roll past him and attack him from the sides. I don't know what else to do here because I think, uh, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna keep, like, wiling out like he's doing. Not my fault. The camera's fucked up in this fucking annoying game. <laughs> Ooh, look at this shit. Oh my god. That was wild. He's so fast. Can't do anything. Dude, I don't like this at all. I'm getting bossed into the walls. I can't see where I am, and I can't roll to the sides, and the camera locks. Like, the camera gets stuck, so I can't see where I'm supposed to be going. Seems like the magic build is going to be pretty worthless, because he can pretty much go across the entire arena at any time. So I might just go pure magic then. Downloading excuses. He says, Elden Ring hype never changed. It's, oh, it's never your fault, always the games. Of course, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. It's I never did anything wrong. I know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. 
It's stupid game design. Just really poorly made game. I did everything right. I did everything correct. I can't. Look at this. I'm going to the sea. I, <laughs> what the fuck? How can I fight when that's the fight? I can't see anything. Agreed. Agreed upon. Interesting uh, mission is <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. Yeah. 
Spider. <laughs> and just as creepy. I hear he sleeps in there. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard he eats rats. It's Who's the guy in the middle? Is it actually Ryan Gosling? I was like, um, it looks like Ryan Gosling. There he goes. Come on, you guys. Let's it check is? this place out before they finally tear it down. Spidey comes back. There he is! Very funny. You jumped. I did not. Yeah, you did. Bird, be quiet. Scaredy cat. Scared. Oh, cool. TV. Why would somebody live like this? Thing's a camera. Cool camera. Nice. Okay. Take my picture. Okay. Um. Say cheese. Cheddar. I hope you captured my incredible juggling skills. Ah! Are you okay? I think so. Guys, let's just get out of here, okay? Yeah, for sure. Still the camera. <laughs> he killed them. You're enjoying a walk with your dog in the forest. 
Suddenly, your dog senses something, and it starts barking at some bushes. All you can see is a snout and two big tusks. Your dog keeps on barking, the bushes move, and a big beast charges out. What are you going to do? Here's how to survive a wild boar attack. <laughs> wild boars look a bit like domestic pigs, but they have longer legs and dark hair, and some of them can weigh up to 136 kilograms or more. They prefer to live in deciduous forests, but recently, they've also started invading cities and trashing urban areas in Europe while scrounging for food. And if you get in the way of their food, they can come after you instead. How fast can a wild boars run? How many humans do they kill each year? And why is it so important to stay on your feet during an attack? A wild boar's diet is about 90% vegetation and 10% animal matter. And although it's very unlikely, they will eat a human if they're very hungry and have no other choice. Although they rarely attack humans, they kill up to seven people each year. Here's how to survive if a wild boar attacks you. Step one, control your pets. If you like walking your dog in bushy rural areas, stay alert. Barking can upset a wild boar and cause an attack. In 2020, a man in Montgomery, Texas woke up around 4 a.m. because his two dogs were barking. When the man went to see what was going on, his spotlights revealed a wild hog. An invisible fence protected the dogs when the wild hog tried to attack them. Then the animal charged him. So the man ran behind this house to hide. The hog thought he went inside, began slamming the house's back door, and broke the hinges off. The man shot the hog in the heart with his crossbow. Step two run. If you see a wild boar approaching from a distance, try not to disrupt it and just run away. If the boar is at a medium distance, back away slowly and don't make any sudden moves. But if you have already provoked a boar and it's nearby, running away might not work. Some boars can run up to 48 kilometers per hour. That's faster than Usain Bolt. Step three, climb up high. Try to get up a tree or a large boulder. Wild boars have climbed out of pig traps with walls up to 1.8 meters high, so climbing up at least two meters should keep you safe. Then try to stay still and wait for the boar to go away. Climb down quietly, and if possible, go in the opposite direction to the boar. Step four, fight hard. If you can't escape and have to do battle, Stand your ground and fight with all your strength and anything within reach. If you have a gun or weapon, aim to kill the boar because it won't give you a second chance. If you don't have a weapon, grab anything you can, including rocks, a tree branch, or your camping gear. Step five, don't fall. Don't fall, I <laughs> just don't fall. Hey. Come on in. Walking into our undercover house is 39-year-old John Elliott, a factory worker for a window company. He's driven two and a half hours to the back. Welcome back. Yeah. It's after Ten one o'clock in the morning. Six months, three, Officer Grimes. Officer Grimes, five years. We Minus hired five this 19-year-old actor, hey, Casey, yeah. to be our decoy. Elliott seems to think she's the 12-year-old virgin um, he's been yeah. chatting with online for the past month. Using a screen name so disturbing we can't broadcast it, he tells the decoy about his fantasy of being with a young girl. You were asking me about what I was daydreaming about. Well, that's it. You nude and me licking you. He continues to chat with the decoy about his fixation with giving her oral sex and adds that as he's talking to her, he's nude and thinking bad thoughts. I just never thought I would openly tell a young girl that. Is okay with me. But as soon as I saw your pic, I was like, man, I give anything I could to have one night with her. At one point, he tells her his hobby is taking pictures of himself masturbating and then sends the decoy some of those shots. And he doesn't stop there. Later, he sends her child pornography, a photo of a girl engaging in a sex act. That girl is young. How young? I think 14. Wow. At one point, he seems to fear she might be a policewoman. But as you can see, that doesn't stop him from showing up. Um, yeah. I'll be honest, I feel like it's also illegal for the bait people 
because they are not technically law enforcement. The people that are baiting f- to receive a CP, right? I think. Not in the USA, only in Sweden. Okay. Because then uh, an actual pedophile could just go and be an un- one of these undercover baiters and just like receive free CP. You know what I mean? I feel like it should be illegal to I let him go to the bathroom and when he came out to bait out a CP more relaxed, out of people too. More comfortable that, you know, okay, she let me go to the bathroom. We're going to be here a while. Gosh, you're pretty. Thank Not you. illegal in Sweden. So what are your plans or what are you thinking? Kissing you. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Hansen was a pedo. No, Chris Hansen is working with these baiters. Uh what what they call perverted justice or something? He's working with them. He's with, he's with the with a CNBC or whatever, and they are with. The, you know what? We, how we talked on the internet. They are an independent. The decoy They're just cooperating. He stops smiling and seems to get suspicious. She asks him about that photo he sent her of the girl receiving oral sex. Oh, that picture you sent me yeah. with the fourteen-year-old girl. Was she really fourteen? I don't know. I just found it off of a guy off the internet when we were talking. Is that like what you wanted to do? That's what I want to do, but I can't, I just, there's something in me that just, I just, it's not right, you know, and it's really bothering me. You seem pretty confident on the internet in terms of what you wanted to do. Mm-hmm. What was your plan? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, I wasn't really going to be doing anything because I was worried of getting too scared and nervous about it. Now, why were you getting so scared and nervous? Well, I just knew it wasn't right. But that's not how you made it sound on online. And what about the photos he sent of himself masturbating? Why'd you do it? Well, just everything in my life is just, it's all screwed up. I've got a bad job. My marriage is not good. Did you bring any condoms? No, I wasn't going to do anything like that. Yeah, what were you going to do? It was just oral. Just oral? Well, I didn't think it was that just bad th- on oral. She told you she was 12 years old? Yeah. And you came over here planning to have oral sex with a 12-year-old girl. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. I mean, it's... Yeah, I did. When I ask him about his obscene screen name, that he starts to laugh. <laughs> Do you think this is funny? No. It's just... a big joke. No, Coming no. Coming over here to have sex with a 12-year-old girl, and this is a big, big old joke to you. No, no. What I'm getting at is, uh, this is the very first time this has ever... No, I really want to know his screen name. It's the first time you they can't me. say no. it online. Right. So what made you no. decide? Oh, they can't say it. All of a sudden, to do it now. I mean, you've been chatting with this Dropped girl for months. It. <laughs> it just, I've had that fantasy in the back of my head. Fantasy about being with a young girl. A young girl. Yes. Well, what do you think should happen to you? Sent to an island. <laughs> Sent to an island. <laughs> exile. You it, it, exile an island. <laughs> You still think this is all no, funny? No, I don't know why you're asking so you're, me you're, stuff like this. I mean, well, why do you think I'm curious about all this? I can tell you're a therapist. I know. I mean, not. Just... You think I'm a therapist? Yeah. By the way, you're. Do you're you close. think that you came over here to meet this girl and magically a therapist sat down to <laughs> help you through your problem? I don't know. I you don't, don't know. know. Uh-uh. Well, do you? Uh, you ever watch television? No, sir. All right. Well, there's something I got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen. And I work for a show called Dateline NBC. Okay. And we're doing a story on adults who try to meet young teenagers online for sex. Okay. It's called To Catch a Predator. So if there's anything else that you'd like to tell us about your situation, we'd like to hear it. I love my wife, and I know it doesn't look like it. I need to see a psychiatrist because of the way everything's going with my life. All right. Well, why don't you go ahead and I hope you get that help. As he gets up to leave and makes the long walk to the door, officers are in position, ready to arrest him. Get down! Sheriff's office, hands up! Hands up! Hands out! Hands out! Uh. Ayo, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. Welcome to a meme review. I mean, I don't know why you guys like these so much. I really don't. It's just me sitting here uh, watching and reacting to filthy little whammy TPs made by gimpy little meme monkeys. But... 
for some reason you're always requesting them um, and I do always say you know it's your corner too so here I am providing for you um, I mean I'm going I'm a bit dramatic here it's not going to be as kind of as bad as they used to be well meme reviews um, I've learned a lot more about memes I've evolved uh, I'm able to take them as a joke a lot better and stuff um, and you know I just feel great at the moment anyway following my massive massive uh, distract victory over Stephen Dry so uh, yeah, it feels like the perfect moment to get stuck in and give you guys what you want. All right, okay, uh, you guys know the rules. What I'm going to do is type my name into YouTube. Uh, I will sit here, watch and react to all of the stuff that comes up for the last month or so. Whatever kind of elicits the biggest reaction uh, is going to be in the video. That straight away, my BDI has found something that it most definitely needs looking at. Uh, it's called Callum's Corner is Exposed as a racist. Now, I know I said earlier, I'm all for, you know, taking these as jokes and stuff, but that is a dangerous title, you know, to be popping onto YouTube, because someone might think these are actually my words and I'm actually a racist when I'm definitely not. So yeah, we're gonna watch this one and check it out. All right, come on, play. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, today I'm gonna be conducting a very important sauce experiment. I am gonna die it seem like I'm dying. I am gonna dye my luscious, lovely ginger hair black, and I'm gonna spend 24 hours undercover as a black person. Oh, I plan to be totally immersive. That's... I'm gonna go out. No, that makes it sound like I was, you know, going undercover as a black person. Like I'm saying there, that was about. Yeah, ginger. it really I makes it sound like that, huh? Ginger person. Ginger is not a race. You know, it's just a hair color. You know, I wouldn't be that insensitive. You know, I just want to make that clear. Out in public, as a black person, go about my normal task raping Eddie. I will also seek out other. Go about my normal task as a black person raping. That that that's exposed your racist accent, your racist attitudes. If anything, who is this who's made this toss pot? That's the name of your channel. Tosspot, no wonder you've got racist attitudes. You know, black people are no more likely to rape people than any other race. You know, anyone can be rapey. Race has got nothing to do with it. Black people see if I can find some kinship. All of the time, these people will not know that I'm deep down not a real black person. <laughs> the reason for this, I mean, a lot of you are probably there thinking, why? Why would someone voluntarily go black? And I'll be honest with you, I've shared that feelings throughout most of my life. I felt, you know, a little bit wary of black people and maybe vaguely repulsed by them. Ra no, no, nonsense. Ginger, ginger people. Racism. I will tolerate black people of any kind. No way, Jose. Uh, this black person is 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 in for it. I haven't thought about this. I don't actually want to do that on camera. I am now switching my tube. Ah, oh, that annoys me. I took that off camera because I knew people would try and meme it, and you've gone and done it anyway. And you've made me sound like a massive racist. This is, you know, the jokes are jokes, but racism is a serious issue, and you've made me a little racist, you've made me racist here. Oh, God, baby. I'm giving it a good old shake up. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, no, like no, 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 and border security president biden a record number of migrants have illegally crossed the southern border on your watch overwhelming border states and overburdening cities such as new york and chicago and in some cases causing real safety and security concerns given that why should voters trust you to solve this crisis because we worked very hard to get a bipartisan agreement that not only changed all of that but it made sure that we are in a situation where you had no circumstance where they could come across the border with the number of border police there are now. We significantly increased the number of asylum officers. Significantly, by the way, the Border Patrol endorsed me, endorsed my position. In addition to that, we found ourselves in a situation where when he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. What I've done since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where 
There are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. That's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. All he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. We had the safest border in the history of our <laughs> country. The border, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. He decided to open up our border, open up our country to people that are from prisons, people that are from mental institutions, insane asylum, terrorists. We have the largest number of terrorists coming into our country right now, all terrorists, all over the world, not just in South America, all over the world. They come from the Middle East, everywhere, all over the world. They're pouring in. And this guy just left it open. And he didn't need legislation because I didn't have legislation. I said, close the border. We had the safest border in history. In that final couple of months of my presidency, we had, according to Border Patrol, who is great, and by the way, who endorsed me for president, but I won't say that, but they endorsed me for president. Brandon, just speak to him. But look, we had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. And people are dying all over the place, including the people that are coming up in Thank caravans. Thank you, President Trump. Uh, President Biden? The only terrorist who's done anything across the border is one who came along and killed three, and his administration killed an Al-Qaeda person, come in and his administration, oh. killed three American soldiers, killed three American soldiers. That's the only terrorist that's there. I'm not saying that no terrorist ever got through, but the idea they're emptying their prisons, we're, le we're welcoming these people, that's simply not true. There's no data to support what he said. Once again, he's exaggerating, he's lying. I mean, I say I say politics is a fucking joke, right? And people go question mark. And then you have the country who spends the most money on politics in the entire world, and this is what they come up with. This is their top two, right? And you don't think it's a fucking joke? Fucking voting, man. Here we are, where all of your friends are eating nice chicken, and your ass wants Cheetos. Like, is that just...
I'm pretty sure that was a filter, not a tumor. A bee sting. Another day, another victory for the OG. Taking down the sweats, the impostors among us. Who doesn't love pizza? Pepeya Potato, Imperium, Pepe, Downfall, Novaria, and Flabrigate. Thank you, boys. Welcome back. Jandrula with the Gifted, and Boss of this gym. Calandria, welcome back. Welcome. Oh, unfortunately, I have to go pee. I missed this song. Tina Chan. Didn't you say you were going to be late? You're earlier than I expected. Wasn't there a lot of traffic on your way here? Well, it's the first time we're going grocery shopping together in forever, so... <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave the heavy lifting to you today. Of course. Hmm. Hina-chan, Hina-chan. Hmm? Look, a new model came out. What? A new model? Sensei, you're not a kid. Uh, fine. Just one. Yes! Hey, hey, don't run! Ah. Oh. oh, a kid. Whew. Are you okay? Huh. Be careful next time. Oh. Mm. It, it's nothing. Anyways. Hmm, Sensei really is a teacher after all. Hmm. <sighs> the rice was heavy. Hmm. Sensei. Hmm? Oh, uh, Hina. Sensei? Um. Uh. Hmm? Uh. N never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sensei, wait, let me go. Sensei. I'm not letting you go until you tell me. <sighs> if you don't like it, I'll stop. <laughs> Jeez, you're so mean. I, I love you, Sensei. Oh, fam, I missed it all. I was unlucky. Hey, fish ticket, thank you for four years. First, can you get the camera? Give me a kiss face first see. Not tier three. Certified only, man. Enjoy your camera power bugs. Family crowd, give you a chance to create a smoking man, black black. You have to stop debating. All right, debatable links, but we are done with those linkos. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you for four years, Mr. Deesbald. Just fortunately. 
Panda Swede, Seuss, Pazal, welcome back. Oh my lordy lord, there's a fire. Didn't grab my shoes or nothing. Alright, time to slay some poos. Hog poos. Where is my game capture? There it is. Found it. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. 